What's going on? Welcome back to another YouTube Twitch internet sensation video. I'm your host, Logan Paul, and I'm here with Jake Paul. And uh, we're going to be doing a Vintage Cube draft. Hey, we have a stipulation. The stipulation is we have to draft two independent decks. Uh, the decks can have eight cards overlapping them. Um, so each deck has to have 15 unique cards, and non-basics can go on either as well. So those are also overlappable. So um, Let's first pick Emrakul and try to get a Through the Breach deck as one of the decks. The third reach is in this pack, though, so if we first pick... It'll come back. Okay, I think we have a better chance of having more cards like this come back. I think it's through the breach here. Okay. Because you're not getting... This is not... <laughs> when, do you, when do you have to start the other deck? Is it like every other pick, or...? No, there's no there's there's no there's no time. You just take it. You just have okay. to make it happen. All right. We got through the breach, ladies and gentlemen. What if we just make one deck mono red? Could do that. Hmm. This Chain Whirler is a mono red card. Yeah. I don't know if it's that good in this format. <clears throat> I mean, it kills all the mana dorks. It's a 3 3 for 3 with first strike. Yeah, I think it's this guy. Or we can go mono white and play like a blue red through the breach deck. Oh, uh, I don't think Jar is that strong, and I don't think Balance is that strong. So, yes. Yes, I am going to pass on those. Jar only really works if you're playing, like, a Storm deck or something like that. Otherwise, Jar is pretty bad. I do like Metamorph. <clears throat> yeah, that's a pretty safe pick. we got about two decks, though. All right, whatever. We'll take the Metamorph, because I think it goes in both. It's that bit donation guy. That is correct. It is the bit donation guy. Hey, I know you. I saw you on the internet. Um, boy. Well, this is a blue card. Sphinx of the Steel one? That goes into the Through the Breach deck. I don't want to throw the Breach of 6-6. Six, six. Like, that doesn't <laughs> win the game, though. Like, you just deal 6, gain 6, and then you then it dies. This is true. But you gotta have something. Mm, yeah, but this isn't it. I'd rather just not play through the breach. How about... How about Magus of the Moon? That seems like it's gonna hurt us a lot. We're well, probably not in our mono red deck. Yeah, but then we're gonna end up with one half of our deck unplayable when we cast that guy. In the mono red deck? But we're not gonna be playing mono red. We could just make a mono red deck. Whatever, I'm taking the Magus. We have to draft two decks, though, right? Correct. One of them will be a mono red deck. Right. But if our other deck has a different color... Then you don't play Magus of the Moon in it. The two, they're two different decks. One of them... If they both have Magus of the Moon, they're not the same deck. It's the, They're not two different decks. I'm so confused. But at the end of it, you still have to draft one whole deck, right? No, we're drafting two separate decks that we're going to play at different times. Oh... I thought you meant just like draft two decks and then kind of shove them together and make one deck. That doesn't even make any sense. I don't even know how you would do that. That would be challenging. Let's take lightning strike. Okay. <laughs> what? Trying to like. How does that even work? We've got Metal Worker here. I don't think it's great though. We only have Metamorph here. I was like, wait, why do you think we have to play this in the other deck that has the non basics? I was real confused, man. All right, so this is a maybe. This is one deck. This is another deck. What 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 do we take here? Though? <clears throat> Toxic Deluge. Is it charm? In case we do like, we could have a blue red deck and a, just a mono red deck. Is that are those too close together though? Maybe. Jace. Jace is like a small Toxic Deluge. <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah every <clears throat> turn. It's a, it's just a Toxic Deluge every turn. What you do, man? I dropped a coaster. I got it back. Hey, man, oh. I see your speakers got rims now. Yeah. I got them rolling on dubs now. Oh, Hellrider. That's a dude. How do you feel about Hellrider? Is it better than Glorybringer? Yeah, this guy just wins you the game, man. 
Also, you don't want that many high end cards. See, there's like tons <clears> of dragons you can get, but Hellbur- Hell Hellrider's just a, a dude. I argue that Glory Baron is like one of the best dragons, but I'd argue that you're one of the dumbest Ooh, dragons. Goblin Guide. Yeah, that's pretty easy. So we got a blue deck here. Hazaret actually seems pretty good. We can just draft the mono red deck first and then just just ditch mono red at the end. It's certainly open. Yeah, I like Hazaret here. All right, now we get a, now we get a pick for the other deck. What if it, what about Exum? What if we have one reanimator deck and one mono red deck? That's a late Exum. Sure. Rakdos got Chain Whirler came back. Put that guy in our red deck. Um, none of these cards are great. I would say Bonfire, but it never works out for us. Actually, so. we can have a Grixis like Reanimator kind of deck. So maybe it's just Dreadbore over here. <clears throat> sure. This guy seems fine, right? It's two one for one. It gives our other vampires madness, which is pretty relevant, man. Oh, yeah, there's tons of vampires in this set. And ways to discard them to your other thing. You know what I'm saying. Pick the Breach Goblin Guide? Oh, yeah. Big tip. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say big tip, man. Why not? Oh, God. It brings the lulls. It did bring the lulls. You're not wrong. You messaged me just in time, man. Why were you going to do? I finished up my foods. What'd you eat? Taco Bell. Taco Bell? Yeah. I was. I just had a feeling like going for some Taco Bell, so I got some. Huh. It was not worth it, though, because I actually waited in line 20 minutes. Which Taco Bell did you go to? The one that's near us. Gulf to Bay? Yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty brutal, actually. Um, I like Toxic Daily here for this deck. They got terrible reviews on, on like, health codes and stuff. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's what I said. Um, let me just put the braids over here. Have you ever been in a drive-thru and just turned off your car because you were waiting so long? No, but... That's how long it was. Yeah, that's pretty fun. <sighs> Eidolon seems probably like the pick, right? It's a very good card. I mind. bet it comes back, though. I guarantee you this comes back. So what do you want to take over it, though? It's not much for either of our decks in this pack. Heroes Downfall? Blood yeah. Crypt. It's probably Blood Crypt, right? Hmm. I could see taking Splitter Twin. And then we just have, like, this is just a combo heavy deck that does all the things. Yeah, sure. Take Twin. Why not? <coughs> Searing Spear? Sure. Is that the pick? Yes. I'm not thrilled with it. Actually, Kozilek's good. We have you through the take breach. Demonic Tutor for the other deck. I do like a Demonic Tutor. I do like Kozilek for through the breach as well. Annihilator Four seems pretty good on twelve twelve. Right, it's got to be Demonic Tutor though, right? I think so. It lets you do all kinds of things. Infernal Titans good overlap. Uh, I don't think we want a six drop in this deck though. I mean, it's got pretty good reach. It's a pretty good finisher. A Dire Fleet's okay. Um, I've definitely had situations where they just don't have any spells. <clears throat> Cause like can go on the mono red deck, too. Yeah, that's fair. I think we actually just want some lands for this deck. Dark Sluggy? I was thinking Spire Bluff. Because we have double red, double blue so far. Alright. Plus it does overlap here if we ever want to splash a blue card. Reanimate. Mm-hmm. We're getting there. I don't have anything to reanimate yet. Not yet, but I like the I like where the the also an Ugin. We just want to play like a value deck instead. I think we have too many cards to rely on that. Like we, we need to get creatures. We have through the breach, we have uh Exhum, we already have reanimate. Like we need actual creatures that do stuff. Okay. I don't think we're getting to eight mana with either of these decks. Volcanic Island. Yeah, but there's also a Shrine of Burning Rage, which is like the best mono red card ever. Yeah, that actually is pretty good. And a cough. Or in a braid. I'd rather have a cough. Really? Yeah, cough is brutal. 
I want to take the Koth, but I don't know if it's correct. There was also a Nicobolus in there, too. <coughs> you doing alright? Yeah. Sound like you're dying, man. Well, did you see Taco Bell? It's fair. Liliana is, is a... Liliana is a reanimating card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9... I think Magenta's also pretty decent in the mono red. Yeah, that's fair. Buried alive. That, that goes... helps us get to where we're going. Yeah, and then we just have to aggressively take the creatures in the next pack. Yeah, yeah. alright. I don't mind packs up. Oh, we came back. Knew it. We passed up a Zergo, but whatever. Yeah, but I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of these red cards back, so... Yeah. Inferno Titan came back. That's pretty boss. And I knew this guy would come back. No one's taking these red cards, which is pretty fantastic. I feel like this is actually going pretty reasonably. Maybe that Volcanic Island comes back, huh? Huh? In your wildest dreams, maybe. Also, if we don't play <clears throat> Jace, like Metamorph is actually on color. So we could actually just, could just be a blue red, a black red reanimate deck. With Splinter Twin and Through the Breach. I guess we want blue for if we hit the Deceiver XR Splinter Twins. Said let's get out of this town. Why are you drafting two decks? Because we have a stipulation. We just posted it to the chat. I think this red deck actually seems really good. Top tier. Oh, Living Death? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. We have, like, all the cards we want for the reanimate deck, except for the creatures. Uh, it is. It should be eight. I don't know why it's not. It should be eight. Um... Yeah, but I updated it to 8, so I don't know why it didn't change. Mox Ruby, that's a pretty good overlap card. Yeah. Ooh, boy, that's actually perfect. Uh, I would love for the Shielder to come back. I don't I don't know how I feel about it, but... Oh, man, Mox Ruby is fantastic. 4, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hey, look, more power. Where? <laughs> You mean like Abyss? I don't think Abyss is yeah, that man, powerful. Yeah, man, Abyss is pretty good. It's, <clears throat> it's not. It's just Battle Sphere. Yeah, I guess. I mean, we have to start somewhere, right? Otherwise, we don't have a deck. Yeah, if we don't actually, if we don't hit the uh, the shield or the fire blast, should still be there. I think we're taking the red cards a little too aggressively because they always table, and I think that's worth considering. We're just taking any this idiot. That's a good idiot to reanimate. Yeah, I think that guy's fine. <clears throat> he usually wins the game in three turns, so that's true. I like that we play, we we can play the the stupid reanimate deck and then sideboard into the mono red deck. Oh. I mean, if we play against control, I'd much rather be playing mono red than reanimate. I don't think we're really in faithless looting. We already have. Buried Alive, Demonic Tutor. Like, we have ways to get things in the graveyard. I'm not too concerned with that. Also, we could always throw the Breach, attack with, like, an Inkle Leviathan. It goes to the graveyard, and then we can just exhume it again, so. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, I mean, it gets things in the graveyard from your hand, no less, so. It's just Frost Titan? I like Tar Pit. I feel like we do need lands, but... Yeah, we're going to be short on playables, though. This is our last pack, too. I think we take Frost, Dad. <clears throat> I kind of like Gaunti here. Yeah, so, Fear Vortex, Vortex is so. pretty strong. 
It's like the best mono red card, I think. It is the best mono red card, I think. Also, we can put Inferno Titan in this deck too, which is nice. Baleful Strix is a dude. Figure of Destiny and Siege Gang are also dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two cards from this pack are coming back. We might just want the Baleful Strix. I can see that. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 6, 16 cards. And we can put Metamorph in here if we wanted to, so 17. Is it just figure? Actually, Siege Gang Commander is a pretty good overlapped card. I actually yeah. think that's good. <clears throat> and maybe the figure comes comes back. Because the thing about the, this deck is you can actually just throw burn spells in it. You can throw Mox, Mox goes in there. Um, you can throw Lightning Strike and Magma Jet in there. You can throw uh, Siege Gang and Inferno Titan in there. Steam Vents seems pretty good. I agree. God, we just need creatures, though. Actually, I guess we have Inferno Titan, Frost Titan, Inkwell Leviathan, and Mirror Battle Sphere. They're not the best, but they're all reasonable. Uh, we're not a Nightmare deck. We have no little creatures to sacrifice. What are, you, like, what are we sacrificing in this deck? We have one, two, three. We literally have four creatures, and none of them... No, that's actually ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think you guys actually read the cards before. You don't look at the decks that the cards are going to go in before you suggest it, which is kind of funny. Uh, oh, I guess we could put Goblin Guide in our reanimate deck. Yeah, that's that seems good. Just incinerate, right? Yeah. Because again, it's it's an overlap card if we need it to be. Fire Blasted. Oh, I think it's got to be Shouldered here. Yeah, that's one of the better targets. <clears throat> Black Cleave Cliffs is actually great for us. Yep. Huh. Wow. Okay. Also, Duretti. I don't really have artifacts. Describe two cards. Yeah, but we, we can reanimate Battlesphere or Inkle Leviathan or Metamorph. We have a Mox to sacrifice. That's about it, though. You think it's Tutor? Yeah, I think so. That's actually one of the... No, that's one of the worst ones, but it's still... It's playable. It's still... Pl okay, we'll play that. I think that's actually playable. Meta Confluence is actually playable land in here. I think we did it. I think we have to cut, like, Splinter Twin and Through the Breach, unfortunately. Oh, no, Through the Breach is playable. I would have loved one Eldrazi in this deck, but... Preferably Ulamog, I guess. Preferably Emrakul. My only problem is, like, well, I just want... I want one that you can both oh, reanimate. Re yeah, oh, and, sure. and you can Through the Breach it, so... How do we get stuff into our graveyard through reanimate, though? Uh, we have Buried, Buried Alive. And Ways to Tutor it. We have we have buried alive vampiric tutor and demonic tutor so, I mean that feels like a oh and and, and we have gifts given obviously. Look at <laughs> look at this hot mess, dude. Uh, Shiv it, run it. So uh, uh, uh. Question is, which deck do we run out first? I feel like the, the mono red deck comes out first. It's only 18 playables? Oh, God. This is 17 cards? Oh, no. That's, yeah, oh, no, I was right. That's no good. I thought we had more red cards. Yeah, this is a weird step. Doesn't See, this is... Reasonable. All right, Metamorph has to come in. That's fine. Chandra has to come in. That's 19 still. Yeah, that wasn't my problem with this step. Mox, isn't, Mox counts as a land. You don't play Mox as a spell. Mox is not a land. Mox, Mox, is, Mox is not a spell, guys. <laughs> it is a land. Hunter, get, get, get. We could play Dreadbore off of Mana Confluence and Black Cleave Cliffs. It just doesn't seem great.
Sonic Tutor, Dreadbore. Ugh. It's not ideal. Can Vampire Tutor too? If one, why not the other? Well, because we're already taking damage from Sulfuric Vortex and Mana Confluence. Hmm. That won't matter. We'll just kill him. Oh, I didn't know that. Now I know. I mean, there's generally not a lot of aggro decks in this format, besides Mono Red. I guess nothing's really wrong with Twin. Value Twin. And if we get to copy one of their Twin targets and then play Twin on ours, hey. I guess we play Battle Wall, sure. Not ideal, but... What you gonna yeah, do? I guess this seems fine. So we'll go you. We'll add no black. 15, 16. Now we'll go 14. Confluence. Cliffs. Save this. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Mono red. Okay, so the cards that are going to overlap, not including basics, are... Uh, just continue without saving. Create a new deck. Grixis. Okay. Well, that changed everything. All right. So, Tutor, Reanimate, Inkwell, Battlesphere, Shieldred, Frost Titan, Frost Titan, Through the Breach, Living Death, Siege Gang, Hostage Taker. Uh, nope, no Hazard. Oh, I clicked on that. Jace seems fine. Gifts, Metamorph. They lose, buried alive, exhume, tutor, magma jet, dreadbore. So magma jet and dreadbore, siege gang, inferno titan, our overlaps. These are our overlaps. These are four of our overlaps so far. Demonic tutor also an overlap. So that's five. Vampire tutor is an overlap. So that'd be six. No, we didn't play. It. We only put one of the tutors in the other one. Okay. Actually, Hazard can discard things. That's a good point. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. What up, Pepperidge Farmer? I do like Hazard as a discard outlet. This is 21 cards. We need two more cards. Probably just Lightning Strike, Incinerate. Or Dire Fleet Daredevil. Sure. Is Chandra any good? It's okay. Oh, this actually is the good Chandra. I'm thinking of Chandra Nagalara as the bad one. This is actually the good Chandra. Yeah, what was I thinking? This is actually the great Chandra. Uh, the lands do not count as overlap. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would consider Mox a land for the sake of overlap because we're actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that does overlap. Hmm. Like, the problem is we just don't. Like, we don't have the cards. Right? Like, all the red is being played. We can't play any of the white cards. And, like, these are the only two cards that we have left. And they just... Chandra Pyromaster was, this, like, the second best Chandra behind... Um, the new one? Behind behind Torch of, you know, whatever. Defiance. Torch of Flame. Torch of Defiance. Yeah, there you go. Dags, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Uh, probably not running 22. Mm-hmm. I think that's fine with this deck. Like, we have a pretty big top end. so You got a big top are... end? Yeah, I know. I mean, I would just... I would just kind of rather play one of these cards. That goes in. It's like Lightning Strike or something? Kerwit, one more, one more overlap. All right, sweet. We're just going to go with Incinerate then. This is a rough stip. It was, but I, I think it worked out. Like, this actually seems reasonable. All right, so... Let's sort by color. I just, the only, like, I feel like we're actually on, like, overlap, overlap. I'm going to, like, I feel like Mox is just counts as a basic. Like, I don't think that's actually a spell because you, you, it's, it's part of the land count. So I don't actually even feel like that's an overlap. So these would be our, is that right? 
Oh, God, it's nine? Yeah, okay, so, well, that's one over then. Fucking around the gorge because vampiric tutor madness. <laughs> yes, that is correct. That is how that works. All right, so what is this? Four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's good. Four, five, six, six black. We don't have any double black though. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we could definitely cut you and add you. So this is eight, seven, seven. I think. Seems fine. It's actually pretty good. All right, what are we leading off with here? I don't know which deck's actually better. I don't either. Let's start with the mono red. Yeah, my only problem is like this is the one mono red where you might get a little flooded. But I guess we have some pretty good high end. Seventeen lands is actually fine. We have five drop, six drop, seven drop. Nine spells and all mana sources can overlap. I like that actually. That's a good that's a good description. Hmm. This actually seems good. I'll keep this yeah. in. We can play uh we can play Gorger on we can play Splinter Swan on Gorger. That seems good, right? Yeah, man. Totes. Yeah, man. Are we just gonna is this just a mono red mirror match? Well, see you later. What do we tutor for? My dad. Hmm. Okay. What about Hellrider? That's a pretty good tutor target. Let's find let's take a gander. See what's happening here. Oh, I see you. I see you, but I'll never catch you because you're very elusive. Um I don't say Shrine or Vortex. Shrine scares me, though, because we have Fire Drinker, Shatter, and Mana Confluence. So if we don't actually end up dealing them any more damage, like, we're just going to lose to our own short self here Vortex. I take Shrine. Is that better than just Hell than Hellrider next turn? Chandra actually seems answer. probably... Chandra actually seems really good. Yeah. So that's just good. a consistent card advantage thing, engine. Let's play this idiot. Titan and put a twin on it. I do like that. That was a good draw. Oh, what up, Koth? Did we just play Koth here? I think so. Let's hope this is the right one, I guess. Oh, all right, we did it. Nailed it. That is not my brother, no. I don't have any brothers. Oh, they repealed my little one drop. That's sad. I mean, we got a Koth on board, so I guess it's not that sad, but... So if we play this, we have one, two, three, four, five. We have eight mana next turn. We can go Chandra into... Oh, you just want to shoot my my, my Koth, huh? Okay, that's a... That's two. pretty good. You got in four damage. You dealt two of their cards. I mean... You're right. Boop him. Boop him and scoop him. What's your ult? Uh, something good. Exile the top ten cards of your library. Choose an instant or sorcery. Copy it three times. You may cast the copies without paying their mana costs. So nine to the dome. If you didn't know, you can click the land and its description tells you if it entered the battlefield. Oh, that's a good That's a good point. I think it doesn't come up as much. It doesn't come up enough for me to like... Remember. Yeah, the new planes are just give the land haste. So you don't have to worry about that. Right. Most, most of the cards they make nowadays do that. They're just like, just give it haste.
Uh, Hazard and Dreadbore. I think we can bottom the Dreadbore. We can bottom both of these, actually. Yeah, Hazard. Hazard's going to be a while. I don't see us emptying our hand here. I really want to land, actually. Me too, because of Inferno Titan, right? Yeah. All right, well, they're not doing anything, which is interesting to me. Oh, cryptic com No, no cryptic command. Okay. Blue red kind of has trouble dealing with six toughness. Yeah, well, they can steal it though. They got that's true. Sword of temptation, uh, treachery, control magic, mole drifter. Oh, they're oh they're digging though. Digging for that sour. Not the sweet though. Oh, I see. I see. Wait, they that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, what? That that's, that's an terrible. interesting choice. Oh, they have, oh, a, have they have another thing. Yeah. I under, I understand. I might just actually Splinter Twin theirs. So, yep. I can still kill it though. Can you? Yeah, we just plus one and shoot it. Oh, oh it died. Perfect. I didn't know it actually targeted. How did you think it dealt damage to creatures? I thought it just dealt one to all creatures. Oh wow, that's even that's so much better. Oh, we just win the game with trying and. All right, that's pretty good. Now, do we switch it up or do we keep it low key? Oh, we gotta switch it up. For funds? Yeah, for the lulls. Okay. Okay. Also, we had a Magus of the Moon in there. That doesn't do anything because they didn't have any basic. They just had mono basics. True. I think objectively, keeping mono red would have been better, but... I think objectively, you're dumber. Wow. Got him! Do we ship this hand? I think so. It's better. You You don't need to be there, though. Ooh. Good draw, assuming we find some black mana. Alright, alright. Did this tip set a switch game? I didn't think it was specified, but I think it was just draft two decks. Oh, you're killing me. Any black mana, man. Chandrario. Really hoping for a black here so we can dread bore that, but. One time, one time. Yeah, yes. we're, good. we're good at this game. And if we draw another black next turn, we get to go Dread Bray Alive into Exhum, which is pretty sweet. Dang, it's so close. Well, let's bury it alive. We have Reanimate and Exhum in hand, so that's pretty cool. All right, what are we getting here? Inkle Leviathan seems unbeatable. Yep. Shoulder's oh. pretty good. Shoulder's also pretty good. But they have... Let's not forget they have... Uh, Phantasmal image is pretty scary. And Yeah, but we have incinerate. Yeah, but we can't target it if we give them an inkwell. Yeah, but we'll be the first one to attack with inkwell, so that'll be fine. I guess that's true. We also have metamorph to make a second inkwell. Is that legendary? Hell no. It's just a stupid idiot. It's just, it's a, just a big dumb idiot. It is just a big dumb idiot. So, what's last? I don't know. Hostage taker is just like a... Maybe if we need an answer. Just to get him? Yeah, that's fine. Alright, your move. Our opponent must be confused. They're probably like, you just beat me with mono red. Now you're playing this stupid Grixis reanimate deck? Oh, actually, we can reanimate and then copy in the same turn. That's pretty cool. How do you feel about that? Don't mana leak me, bro. Could have played around it. Just Whoa. FYI. Yeah, but I didn't want them. To, I don't know. That was definitely a misplay. You're a misplay. <laughs> wow, how rude! Are you just going for it? Yeah, we'll just double double inkwell. What the, what can they do against that? Even Blue if they red? I don't know. Actually. Yeah, they can't copy it. They can't steal it. There's no way they can bonfire. For they now. both have island walk. <laughs> 
Shroud. We have double inkwell leviathans on board right now. How mad would you be if you lost to Mono Red and then they board into this, <laughs> this stupid Grixis deck and you still lose? <laughs> wow, both of your two decks are better than my one deck. Fantastic. You know, the funny thing is, we didn't actually increase our clock. Um, wait. No, if... Oh, yeah, it's two turns instead of three. Right. Oh, but... you're right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, never mind. This is 14 damage versus seven, yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, right. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Hey, Kerwit, nice tip, buddy. <laughs> Oh, boy. All right, let's play again. Does it automatically go back to the mono red? I think so, because that's our primary deck. Yeah, it says view deck mono red, so. Okay. Let's actually start with the other deck, I guess, because they're going to board in, like, hate cards. I think that's I think that's correct. But um, we have to, I thought we were supposed to switch off every time. Well, yeah, but we're still... I don't... We don't have to, like, do it exactly. Like, I mean, we're going to play... We'll play this, and then we'll switch to the next one. Okay. Because otherwise, we never get to start with this. Uh, no, that depends. Okay, if it goes to three games, we yeah, get exactly. to. But I mean, like that seems really weird. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna switch off after every time. But I think you could. You think I think we should have started with this one last time because everyone made a valid point about how, uh, like, they'll probably bring in like you know, they'll take out things. Yeah, that's fair. And they won't be ready for the monorail beat for the tiny little kids. Because like, if they have like magma jets and stuff, they're probably gonna take them out against this deck. But then, you probably know, removal in general. Yeah. Take out. Right. Except for like exile stuff which is pretty expensive remember that time we, we beat him with mono red and then we sideboarded into <laughs> double inkwell leviathan yeah that was pretty funny that was a good deck uh there are more sides against red but they're um this is not i, I don't hate this because of the jace otherwise it's pretty lackluster though yeah, but so are you. Oh my Got god. You, it. Can you come up with a new joke, please? Can you be less lackluster? I think this is a mole. Really? Yeah. Or is Jace good enough? I think Jace is good enough. We also have this guy. Like, I don't mm -hmm. think our hand is lacking in action. Also, okay. if we get buried alive, man. Top tech buried alive. <laughs> buried alive. Buried alive. <laughs> we'll also wait and playing that confluence for as long as possible. Yeah, I'll only take damage when I don't have to. Oh, 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 okay, Island. I always get scared because I'm like, you're going to do something. <sighs> Buried alive? Tutor for it? Yeah. And then play it next turn? Sure. And then we have living death in hand? That seems good, right? Just put all our eggs in the basket. Put them all in the basket. Are they going to force a will this? That's fine with me. They didn't do it. Yeah, let's get buried alive. Buried alive. Ha, 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 ha. They don't even know. They don't, dude. Also, we could have gotten Mox and, and played Jace next turn. That seems good, but I think setting up for living and living death is just just probably you better. You still play Jace on a Mox next turn. Yeah, that guy's not scary. Never flipping. Called it here. <sighs> That's exactly what we wanted. Oof. We're doing it. I think it's always Leviathan. Yeah. Shielder it seems good here. Inferno Titan to pick off the Delver. I like that. If he does flip, it is kind of a little bit of damage. You're a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Oh, just a little bit of damage. The Nemiflin and Sombre. What's this clip doing? Oh, no luck. No flips. And a Jace. Um, I think we just give you these in the Mana Drain. Actually, mm. yeah, right? We'd rather him have Hero's Downfall than Drain. Correct. Wait, no, yeah, I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather him yeah, have the Hero's like Downfall. That, yeah. What do you take? They, hmm, they took the Swamp and uh, the Downfall. Interesting. I would have kept managing up 1,000% of the time, but... Especially when we're trying not to give it to you. Let's play our own, Jace. Probably plus, right? I guess we want to risk it. I think we can plus this turn, and then next turn we can risk it for the biscuit. 
If they want a hero's downfall, this guy, then we're probably free to play. Oh, that's totally death. fine. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great. No, nope. I mean you could no have flips. another counter, but it's got to cost two mana. Oh, oh, oh! Let's discard Metamorph and then just just cast Living Death next turn. Yeah, I mean if you have a counter spell, it's really bad, but I mean we're not going to copy. Well, there's nothing to copy anyway, so. Oh wow. Are we doing it? We have to do it, right? Let's draw some cards first. Oh, wait, why is Hazard in this build? Oh, yeah, because you can discard. Gotcha. Hazard actually seems decent here. I agree with you. Plus, I'd rather not have two lands because they're never going to... I'm just going to go for it. No gamble. Yeah, actually, sure. I don't know how Phyrexian Metamorph... I don't think Phyrexian Metamorph does work here. Really? Oh, that's not... Gushing for force, maybe? Yeah, they're probably looking for something. Oh, I guess they can just... They can still... They're floating the mana, so they can... Any counterspell will work, actually. Whoa! What in the earth, dude? Whoo! All right, let's play this mono red deck, guys. <laughs> no, we gave them Heroes Downfall and... Uh... No, well, he could have he could have taken Mana Drain, but he decided to take the Heroes Yeah, I would have taken Mana Drain a thousand percent. If if someone against me buries alive and puts three huge creatures in their graveyard, I'm taking Mana Drain 1,000% of the time. Yeah, because like, even if we don't have Living Death, what if we animate? You're still screwed. Like, you I mean, you could Heroes drain. Downfall the guy, but like, if you saw me put Inquil Leviathan, so you know Heroes Downfall isn't reasonable for that. You saw me put... Inferno Titan in the graveyard, so you know Hero's Downfall isn't oh, great you know against what? that. He had Lily to play around a, like a single reanimate spell? Because Liliana can sack. Sure, but... So that's probably why he pecked the downfall, I, I guess. I guess. Still seems a little greedy, but... I can see the logic in it. See the logic in your face, man. Wow. I don't love this hand, but I think Eidolon's actually pretty good here. Yeah, it's probably gross. Also, if we can just draw Mox, that'd be sweet, right? I kind of wanted to go turn one to rest. <laughs> Anti-sniper gold. Glad you can catch a live stream, buddy. Oh, all right. That's cool. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Please word. give me a land. That would be like the most perfect hit ever, dude. Chain Willer gets to kill the 1-1 the one, one, uh, Death Touch creature. Take three, buddy. That's no, only two. Uh, three being nice insane. Grim, nice Grim Tutor. Almost. Grim Tutor's three. Vampiric two. Well, all right. I guess it's neither. They both are three. It's all three. Well, Imperial Vampiric Tutor's still... two, but it goes in your hand. Or it goes on two? top. Yeah. I thought it was three. Oh! Still going to kill this guy. Uh, yeah, probably. Because we get in there for two, so... I'll take two to, to, to get in there for two. A, a land would have been great here, but... Land off the tippity-toppity, show me the zoppity. Wow. Ooh. They never don't have it. That's a good one. <laughs> I mean, they can only cast seven more spells, man. And then they're dead. That's true. So, here comes a Jace. Unless they cost more than three, then they can play as many as they want. This Hazard's not looking good with this hand. You think? It's a feeling I have, yeah. Okay. If we go to game three, how do we mind game this? That's a good question. Do you go back? Do you stay with red? Well, first off, we have to draw another land. Yeah, that's that's a bit of a problem. That's yeah, not something that props can fix. I don't think they've necessarily seen the mono red version of this deck, though. They saw, like, Lightning Strike, which could have been... Both of these cards technically could have been in the last deck, so they actually don't know that we're mono red. Oh. Let's give you Force and Land. If you take Bribery, I'm actually going to scoop before... Before you cast it. Yeah, okay. If they play Bribery, we're just going to scoop, because I don't want you to see my deck. Well, hold on. Do they have five? Yeah, yeah cast okay. it right now. All right, let's try that again. I'm going to stay with mono red? Yeah, I think we're going to stick with mono red because I don't think they know that we're mono red. This is terrible. Yeah, it's a mulligan. 
This is actually fine. This is actually pretty good. Especially because we mulligan, so Hazaret's just that much stronger. Yeah. Hazard at these just... Oh, no, thank... Go away. God. No, thank you. I'm actually glad that was on the top, because... Now we don't have to deal with it again. Also, they're blue-black, so they probably have no way to deal with Shrine. I mean, we're just going to trade here, right? This guy's never doing any damage. Sure. All right, 20 turn clock. Oh! They definitely didn't think we were playing Mono Red, but they kept that in. All right. The crack's trying to kill the, the Bob? No, sir. Keep it. Dang it. Man, so lucky. Want a bob? Maybe, actually. I think I want to hazard it more right now, though. That's indestructible. Oh, they took five from Gush! Oh. The gas is real! That's insane, Bonk. dude. Wow. Bob, actually. That's gasoline, dude. Oh, we can actually copy our shrine, too. Two shrines are better than one. Hmm. I think I like hopping Bob better. Well, it actually is awkward with Hazard, though. Could pitch a land and attack. Yeah, I think we're actually going to keep this in case we hit black. I don't really want to be priced out of hitting... Hazard seems very good against their deck. Like, if they steal it, they can't attack with it or block with it. Because they have... After the Lava Axe, they're like, oh, I think we'll block. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're done here. And as a blue-black deck, they don't have that many answers to Shrine other than, like, Repeal. Yeah. Yeah, we could actually cast Metamorph with the Mana Confluence to save one point. Which is relevant. They do have Lily, but not here. Gonna counter this? Manager and you got it. Alright. Put you to not a lot. So you're at eight. So this goes to seven next turn. If we draw land, we can discard Metamorph. Uh crack kill you. Crack kill you, yeah. So you're basically dead. Still almost dead. Okay. Now you're not dead. Oh, if that was a red card. You can still pitch with hazard to deal damage. Yeah, you're right, actually. Oh, wait, we should play the mocks. Why? Oh, wait, you had to pitch something to deal too. That's right. Okay. Oh, my God, you just thought you could activate hazard for nothing? Um, I don't know if we risk crack... I'm not cracking the shrine, though. I guess they have to deal with both either way. Right, but once you get this off the board... Well, no, but if they get Hazard off the board, I think it's 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 more likely for them to get Hazard off the board. What are you targeting? Hazard again? I think we're just going to take six and see what they do. Yeah. If they plus if they plus Liliana, we're discarding the card. Because we have to. Yeah, I think it's greedy to leave Shrine vulnerable, too. I agree, but I mean like we don't get a card. Actually. Huh. Let's see what they do. Yeah. Oh, they're gushing. Well. Charting of course. Are they dead? They're actually just dead to this. We actually don't even have to discard. Right. 
That's actually a good point. I didn't even... Are we 2-0 with, with these two decks? Okay, you can't repeal, though, right? Because you played a land this turn. Turn 7. Yeah, I don't know what they're digging for Turn here. Turn 8. They haven't played a land yet. Yeah, they did. They played an island after they gushed. Returns an island, island draws... Oh, they did, yeah. So they can't get repeal. I don't know what they can get for two mana here that saves them. I think they're just digging. Blink of an eye, I guess. Wow, we're 2-0 with this deck? Hmm. There's no stifle in the vintage cube. Nothing? They probably have the three mana one, though, right? Although they couldn't have got that. What, Nimble Obstructionist? No, uh... This... Whatever the popular counterspell and standard is. What's he saying? Disallow? That's it. Disallow. Yeah, okay. I don't think they do. I don't think that's in here. I think I would have seen it by now. This stipulation is OP, man. OP, OP? Do, 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 do. I don't hate this hand. We can keep this hand. We can cast Hostage Shaker and Disallow, depending on if we draw land. We can through the Breach this Inkwell, which is not super exciting. But it gets into the graveyard. For the Reanimate or the Exhume, we will undoubtedly draw. Okay, you get a Toxic Deluge. Fascinating. Much better if we had a Mountain in hand. Uh, I'll take any red source. It doesn't have to be a mountain. God. It's real greedy of you. I want specifically a mountain. Tutor for a mountain? Well, I would probably tutor for a mox. Oh, sure. That's better. Yeah. Boy, I know it. We could also tutor for a through the breach target. Oh, God, if we had an Emrakul, dude. If. I think we do tutor here, though. But then we draw the card. I think we can wait. See, now I'm tempted to do for, like, a Steam event so we can actually play Jace, but also have a red source, so... How do you feel about that? I think it's correct. We got we to tutor for something, so. <clears throat> Steam Ventoru. I promise this is the... What? Wow, I almost F6 through the turn because I thought that was going to get countered. I was like, well, I'm just going to counter it, right? <laughs> so, might as well just F6, I guess. Did they go on the bottom? Yes, unfortunately. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to take this pile. Because... Breach him and then screech him? Breach him and screech him. That's what I always say. Uh, oh, I guess they're just going to kill us now. It's possible. Well, that's unfortunate. If we plus Jace, we would be alive. Here we go. Yep. yep. Cool. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, is a pleasure, Splinter Twin. The irony of having Jace on board. Do we switch it up? Yeah. Yeah, we do. Always be switching. Okay. This seems like a keep. Turn one shrine seems good. I don't hate it. I would love... Kid, uh, we didn't get the figure of Destiny. Mm, it's actually fine. Better than Daredevil or Incinerate here, so... 
Land, land would be great. Oh, one down. We could pump our boy. We could, actually. I think that's probably better than anything else we're going to be doing. But then again, Direfully Daryl might just be good here naturally. Just, just another a, just a two pressure. one, yeah. It does take up our shrine as well. And I want to empty our hand for Hazaret, so. Lots of perks to playing Dire Fleet Daredevil here with no target. If they actually... Sure. You got it. <laughs> Strong enough to counter. Seems good. Taking for lands. Two islands is not seem where you want to be, but... Ooh, they found lands. Hey. Hey now. Hey now. That's Hazard. Hey now. Also, now we can play both of these? Good lord, that's good. Man, what is even happening? Ooh. What's that about? Oh, yeah, just take... Yeah, sure. Hazard online. You left him with the tutor? Isn't that just better than any of the other... That's interesting. I bet they have... I bet they just have uh, the things. Why don't we play a land so we can attack with Hazard? You're so smart. I know. How did you get this smart? This is where they go what to sleep. Or they have sleep. I <laughs> cost four, dummy. They can't even have that. Do we have any way to interact with... Yeah, well, I'm sure we can get a removal spell. But, I mean, like... Oh, a blink of... Oh, well, they're not playing it, so that's fine. Okay. Yeah, but I mean, like, this shrine is at seven? I think we just recast Hazard. I feel like that's correct. This is at nine. This goes to nine next turn, so you have to deal with literally both of these. Seems reasonable. You can't zealous conscript this. Shrine is so broken, dude. It's pretty good. Oh, and we just win the game. Seems good. Now the question is, do we stick with Mono Red or do we switch back? Well, sometimes I, just, I stick with Mono Red against Kiki Combo. The Grixis deck's pretty uninteractive. I, I, I think that's true. Yeah, we really actually don't really have any way to deal with Kiki. 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 We well, like Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> I have no idea what you just did there, but it was, it was pretty funny. Man, I was going to see if you want to go to the Sweet Tomatoes, but I guess you already ate. Well, guess we'll just have to go another day then. I guess so. I would have been down for that too. Yeah, if only you consulted me before you got Taco Bell, of all things. I can't consult you every day, man. Yeah, you can. Do we keep this hand? It seems pretty rough. Yeah, I would mull. This is better. Yeah. Don't dream it's over. Hey, Did you keep that or bottom that? I bottomed that. Okay. I don't need no fourth land when I already have a black source. Goblin guy. Dang it. That's a big boy. Tutor for Vortex? Oh, that seems pretty interesting. We don't have anything else to do, so we're definitely tutoring here. We want to turn three play, so it is I probably... Think, I think it's Vortex. I like Vortex. What about Eidolon? Eh... They can just ignore that. How? They don't seem to have that many. Like, they have, like, Charter Cores, Signet. Then they have Combo. Like, I just don't think... I think Vortex is just, like... We can also just get Mox and then play Koth next turn. That's true. That's actually pretty good. That feels pretty good. Also gets us to Titan faster. Yeah, I like that, actually. That's aggressive, but I think it's good. Definitely not getting Hazard. That does not seem good. Yeah, we're just not going to be able to dump our hand. Like, I'm not going to get a second four drop when we don't even have three lands in play. Uh, they don't have a black source, so I'm going to assume they don't. Actually, that's pretty good. Oh, they got, they got, but they have mana leak. Unless they just kill this guy immediately, which is actually kind of annoying. 
Oh my god, that so bad. That doesn't, that doesn't take off, though. It takes mocks. True. That's brutal, man. Angus of Harden nailed it. I don't like playing the mocks unless you're actually going to use it, because then they can play around it. They're like, oh, you're going to have four mana. I think it's most of the, correct most of the time to play the, to, to hold it until yeah, you use it. This is the only situation where it was bad. We don't get to actually keep that guy, so... Might as well get in there. I also have two cards in hand. Inferno Titan is so good against their board as well. He's had it every game. He didn't have it last game, right? I only had it game one. They got Toxic Deluge with the game one. They didn't take anything from us last game. They also didn't have a Black Source. That was my stipulation, that they didn't have a Black Source on board. So they literally had Island, Island, Is it Signet, which felt like they were off Black Sources. This guy into Koth, which means you got to attack with both of these. And I will gladly block the elemental, but I'm actually probably just blocking you just to kill you. Or do I care about that? Like, we have Inferno Titan in hand. This game would be totally different if we just played the Mox. Like, next turn we can play Inferno Titan. Mm, that's actually probably the play. But actually, it does get rid of Creeping Tar Pit, which I think is more relevant. I mean, the downside to waiting is they can get another token, but... Yeah, that's pretty good. They're going to get a battle ball, probably. Inferno Titan's pretty good against that. Oh, that's right. They did take Demonic. We just didn't care because it actually did really well for us. So, Yeah, now we're going to kill this guy because reasons. Don't care about you. Actually, bribery is insane. Seems good. Wow, that's actually great. One, two, three, four, five. We'll need one land, but... Don't dream it's over, Final Titan. He's gonna die. They're gonna play Splinter Twin. You know we can't win. I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like their their card quality is probably better than ours. If we had a land, we can Dire Fleet into Bribery, which is pretty good. Are you just Splinter Twin here? Do they have Kiki? No. no, he doesn't have enough red in his pool. Chupacabra. That's very That's good. That's pretty good. Well, let's see what you have in your deck if we hit a land. If we don't hit a land, it's going to be real sad. It's going to take six here. It's not terrible, but it's not great. So we take one <clears throat> thread bore, we go to eight, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, we go to five, we go to three. Yeah, that's game. Yeah. I guess we could just play this as a blocker. Yeah, I'd like to bribery, but I think it's better to Inquisition here. Okay reasonable so not dead yet but I'm not sure what we can draw to get out of this yeah that's one problem with one red yeah that inquisition play changed the entire game actually I mean I think I think we still did well we lost uh, we went 
we 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 went two one, and the the match we lost, we actually went to three games. So. I mean, you just attack with Creeping Tar Pit and Pestermite, right? Chain Whirler is a pretty sick out, actually. But it doesn't it doesn't save us, though, because Creeping Tar Pit and Pestermite are going to put us three this turn. And uh, then we just die to the Creeping Tar Pit. Yeah, Tar Pit's pretty broken. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We actually have to block something else, unfortunately. So we go to we go to one. Chain Whirler does not do it. Neither does Incinerate. Nope. Five damage. Oh my god, that cough, dude. That 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 one Mox Ruby play. That's so stupid. Yep. What are you gonna do? Either way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. you guys. Have been awesome today. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon or Twitch. Both of those links are in the description. And I'll see you guys next time.